Hi everybody, it's Amanda and I'm coming to you with day 9 of 30 Inks 30 Days. And today, well, I'm going to review our um, our ink from yesterday, which was Color of Our Shiny Black. To ze Pearl, what are you doing? To no one's surprise, this is probably one of my favorites. I've already said that. So, um, yeah. So here's our pen. Um, I love writing with this pen with this ink, so I don't really have anything to say other than I loved it. So... So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to day number nine. And I decided that today I wanted to use a sample from Pen Friend Roxy, which is one that people have been interested in. It's the Jacques Rabanne Vert Antide, um, which is this pretty, it's their, their 350th anniversary ink. It's this really pretty dark green with like gold and silver shimmer. And um, yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to use it. And as usual, we're going to use, I was gonna use a different one, a different ink, and then I was like, oh wait, no, I wanna use that. So I'm using this in my Twisby Diamond 580. This is the turquoise, um, the turquoise color. Well, I think they called it turquoise. Oh, it's kind of like a really light, it's a really light. It's, I think it's similar to the mint blue version um, of the mini, but um, yeah. So, awesome, so that's what we're gonna do. I have a medium nib on this pen, and um, yeah, hopefully it will look really nice with our ink. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I have a fuzz in here. Okay, I got it. This pen is kind of interesting because it's right. it writes a little bit stubby, which I, um, is, I think is kind of fun. Um, 2021. This I would also consider to be a work appropriate shimmer ink. It's like dark enough, like if you need dark colors, like my work does not care, so I can write with anything, but um, yeah, if day nine, if that's something that's important to you, then um, yeah. And I have some ink on my fingers because I didn't do a good job cleaning right here. Okay, our ink is. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Herb, herb, um. I kind of love this ink. It's really pretty. Um, the pen. It's one of my drier writing Twisbees, so I hope that doesn't give me any problems. Look at how pretty the shimmer is in here. It mixes up really fast, but it also like settles kind of fast. So I could probably, yeah, well, it incorporates really easily. And I don't think I got a ton of shimmer in here, but yeah. So hopefully we can see, hope we can. I was saying this is one of my drier Twisbees, but it's actually putting down a nice bit of ink. So I don't know, maybe it's just the paper that makes it, I don't know, maybe I'm just having a, Maybe I'm just having a, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is the sloppiest handwriting. And my sample is from, from Pen Friend Roxy. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do some splats. Here's what the shimmer looks like. It's so pretty. But you can see it incorporates really pretty quickly. I'm gonna move this because I don't want to make a mess before I write on it. Trying to see if I can move some of the. Guess not. That's okay. So there we go. Um, you can see the shimmer in the text. This base color is a really pretty. It's like I want to say olive, but it's not like as warm as an olive green. It's like a pretty green gray. 
it kind of reminds me of that uh ver um pier the it, one of the ones that i did in the big swatch fest i'll have to see if i can grab that card if i don't get it today i'll grab it for tomorrow um i still want to do a big comparison video i just haven't I haven't gathered all the necessary um, items. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead. I didn't re I realized I didn't turn the camera so you could see better. So we'll fix that right now. Right now. Okay. And I'm going to rock the pen back and forth. Um, today we are definitely not doing facts. I didn't look any up. So I'm going to um, sort of do my my personal tips for using shimmer ink because it, that has been requested. So um, I'm doing this after work and I have limited time to, oops, not day five, what the heck day nine um yeah Thank you, Roxy, for sending this uh, generous sample. I have a bunch of stuff to send to her. I'm so far behind on everything. Okay, so tips for using shimmers. Tips for using shimmer ink. Sorry, that's... Okay. One. Don't be afraid don't be afraid of them they're just ink they have some glitter in them but it's really not it seems like it should be a bigger deal than it is but like if it was really that truly that awful of a thing they wouldn't make it like these are well respected pen companies like Jacques Grabon has been around 350 years um they make ink diamine has been around for a gajillion year I don't even know how long diamine has been around but they've been around forever they have a whole entire line like 20 inks of shimmer inks if you they didn't work or you couldn't use them, they wouldn't make them. So don't be afraid. Um, two, use a pen with good ink flow. If you have a pen that writes really dryly with every ink you use it, you probably don't want to use a shimmer ink with it because then you do have the potential because the, the feed is not pushing, it's not gathering as much ink, it's not pushing as much ink through. So um, you have, it's going to be, the shimmer is going to have a harder time getting through, I think, in my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, so make sure you use a pen. It doesn't have to be a broad nib. It doesn't have to be a stub nib. It doesn't have to be. You can, I've used, um, I've used, I mean, we used that Pilot Prera the other day. That's a pretty fine nib, even though it's called a medium. I've used this um, Twisby Mini. This has a fine nib. I've used Shimmer. The first ink that I ever put in this ink was, or this pen was a Shimmer ink. It was Diamine Shimmer Tastic Blue Pearl. Um, and I actually kept, I had, I kept buying samples and refilling it. I don't even, I should have a bottle of it, but I don't. Um, but this is a fine nib, so I, you can use finer nibs. I personally choose not to, but in general, I also don't typically use finer nibs that often. Um, tip number three, um, don't be afraid. <laughs> I have seen comments and I have seen, not even just in my comments, just on the internet, like, oh, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Don't be afraid. It's it's not that big of a deal. If you don't want to, if you don't want to get, uh, if you don't want to use it in an expensive pen, like I have pens that I would never put a shimmer ink in. This Aurora, I would never put a shimmer ink in that. My Visconti Homo Sapiens, I would never put a shimmer in that. My Lamy 2000, I will never put a shimmer in that. Although I was thinking about it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm like, stop it. That's crazy. Um, because not because I d I'm worried about them, but because it, they're harder pens to clean out. And I don't want to spend so much time cleaning out. A Twisby is really easy to clean out. You pump the piston a couple times, a converter, this Twisby go, you just, and it it's clean. So yeah, just don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Um, I already kind of went into my next tip, which was um, use a pen is easy to clean. Um, yeah, and a side tip, I'll put A, um, dedicate a pen to it. Pick a pen. That's the pen you use for your shimmer inks. Um, I'm going to say, this is not really a tip. This is just what I do. I use Twisbees because I like to see the ink slosh. It's fun. Like, it's fun. Especially if you get... Especially when you pick it up right away, like you get shimmer. Um, also, I personally don't use these very much because I don't, I don't, they're a, a pen I would love to play with, but it's not one that I take the time to practice with, but um, Pilot Parallels are fun. Uh, practice lettering or just scribbling or just draw something. I don't know. You can use Pilot Parallels for anything. Um, they're fun. They're, you can use the cartridge. You can use a converter. Um, you, it's easy to clean and fill a cartridge. Um, they come with two cartridges. If there's one that you don't want to use, empty it out. Or when you have used it and empty it out, then there you go. Um, I'm going to say... Tip number five. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Um, don't be afraid. <laughs> I just want to reiterate that because, you know, again, it's not that big of a deal. Um, okay, six. You've seen me probably doing this while, while I'm sitting here, but I like to roll and agitate the pen. Um, I do that while I'm writing. I do that when I first pick a pen up. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, you'll, you've seen me do that. I've been doing, I basically just do, it's like a tick. Um, but you can see, like, when you first pick up a pen, you're going to have a ton of shimmer in the bottom. Um, and so, you know, you want to evenly distribute the shimmer throughout the, throughout the, um, throughout the, the ink. Um, uh, back to the Twisbees thing. Um, I know that I talked about this in the video yesterday, but um, somebody in the comments said that they use shimmer inks in their Lamies. I don't use shimmer inks in my Lamies because I had clogging issues, but just pick a pen that you like. And if you don't run into problems, if you want to grab like a, a fairly inexpensive pen, like grab a Preppy or something or like a Platinum Placier. Um, it comes with a converter. Converters are easy to clean out. Um, it's you know, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be like anything super expensive. Um, yeah, just, yeah, just grab, grab, grab what you want. Um, the last tip that I wrote down, uh, I'm going to save, um, seven. Oh, I just had tip number seven and it just left my head and I didn't write it down. Um, shoot. 
I just remembered what it was. Um, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to leave my tip number seven as I had it written. And if I remember it in a future video or later, I will um, let you know. Um, yeah, my biggest tip is have fun. Because shimmer inks are fun. And there are plenty of people out there that don't think that don't like using shimmer inks. If you don't want to use shimmer inks, don't use a shimmer ink. Nobody's forcing you to use a shimmer ink. It's not a requirement to be a fountain pen person. You don't have to use a shimmer ink. If you want to try it out and discover that it's not your thing, then cool. Like, that's great. All the more for me. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, it's not it's not that big of a deal. If you don't want to use a shimmer ink, don't use a shimmer ink. Don't feel like you have to use a shimmer ink. If you want to try it, go for it. Um, I would recommend, I can talk about my experiences with other brands. Um, Diamine Shimmer Tastics are probably the, the best behaved. They were the first shimmers that I ever used and I have had zero problems with them. Um, um, they don't clog um oh i do have i do have a tip um if you do pick up your pen and it won't clog or if it won't write eight if your pen does clog try try priming the feed um, yeah, so if you find that your pen is like clogging, um, just, you know, prime your feed, get, get ink, push ink through it and it will hopefully dislodge some of the glitter. Also, um, what I like to do if I'm having troubles and I notice a ton of shimmer like on the nib, I'll just wipe it off with the, like a wet paper towel or even a dry paper towel. Sometimes I'll try a dry paper towel and if that doesn't work, I'll get it wet and wipe it off and that will di dislodge some of the the uh, shimmer that you have here. But yeah, if one of those things, um, or wipe nib off with a cloth. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, if anybody in the comments has any, you know, uses shimmers and wants to leave any of your tips, uh, please definitely leave them in the comments because um, the more information we have out there is great. Um, back to talking about my personal experience with brands. I've already men mentioned Diamine Shimmer Tastic. I think they're fantastic inks. Um, I have a lot of samples of them. I've used them many times, haven't had any issues. They clean up pretty well. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say about them. They're, they're great, I think. Um, Diatramentous shimmers. I have used Diatramentous shimmers once or twice. They have a lot, their shimmer particles, I think, are a lot bigger than Diamine. Um, I have had some clogging issues with theirs. But like I said, I just primed the feed and then that seemed to, like, get it going again. Um, I don't remember the clean out process. I feel like I did that. I had that ink in a Twisby mini and I think I had to take the mini apart to, in order to, um, to clean it out. Um, so there's that, uh, Birmingham pen company, Birmingham pen company, um, their shimmer inks, um, I would say also Nemesign. Um, there, if you have any of their shimmer inks, you can't get them anymore, but, uh, if you, if you have them in your own personal stash already or see them on eBay or whatever, um, their inks are heavily shimmered and we're actually going to see a couple of those later in the month, probably. Um, their inks are heavily shimmered. Um, last 30 inks, I think it was, or September's, it was September's 30 inks. I used... Do I have my notebook sitting here from that? I don't think so. I don't. Um, I used Cranberry Twinkle. Um, somebody actually requested that I use that this month, and that may be one of the ones that I use um, because it's pretty and I like it. Uh, but that has tons of shimmer, and I don't recall having clean-out issues with it. Um, if I run into any, though, I'll let you know. But yeah, that their ink has tons of shimmer. Tons of shimmer. Um, actually, one of the Nemesign inks is what clogged my, the last ink that I, the last shimmer ink I used in a Safari that clogged in. <laughs> it was after a couple of others that had clogged in. I was just like, I'm not messing with it. Um, Colorverse, um, Colorverse Shiny Black, obviously I'm a huge fan. I've had it in a couple different pens and I don't recall having any issues with it. Um, it's really, their shimmer particles seem to be pretty fine. Um... 
but yeah and they're not like I don't think they're super pervasive but the the ink looks really nice and shimmery as you can see um Van Diemen's they have a large amount of shimmer um I've only no I was gonna say I've only used it in one pen but that's not true I've had it in a Twisby 580 and I also used it in a go a few days ago um last week I think when was it Oh yeah, day two. Day two we used the Van Diemen's ink. That cleaned out of my um, out of my Twisby Go pretty easily. I, I had an ink a few days before day two, and um, yeah, it, it cleaned up pretty easily. Um, so yeah, I didn't have any problems with that. Um, and I did take a, oh, that's another tip. Nine, soft, bristle, toothbrush for gently cleaning the fins of your feed. Because I primarily use Twisbees, the ink gets stuck in that channel right, or the shimmer gets stuck in that channel right there. There isn't any right now, but let's see, do I have have to clean this pen out do I still there's some there's a tiny bit in this one the Van Diemen's one was like all full let me see where is my do I have my prayer still here I do um, you'll see that it has I mean this doesn't have, this one doesn't have fins but if I were to uh, pull this out and clean it out I would use gently use a f soft bristle toothbrush um, very gently I don't scrub it like I'm like you know, like I'm like cleaning a stain off a tiny spot, um, but just very gently. Um, it was a spare toothbrush that I got from the dentist because I use an electric toothbrush, so I don't, I'll save their toothbrushes and donate them, but I was like, oh wait, that might be good for cleaning these pens. So um, yeah, that is another tip um, that I have. Um, yeah, Van Diemen's has a lot of shimmer. We did have some clogging issues while I was writing with it um, here and here. But during the day, like when I did this, we had problems. But when I was doing my regular writing throughout the day, I really didn't have any problems. Um, maybe like once or twice, but nothing really that big of a deal. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, cool. So, I hope that you enjoyed these tips. Like I said, if you use shimmer inks and have tips of your own and want to share them in the comments, please do. I would love I would love for you to share your expertise and your experience with um, these super fun inks. And let's go ahead and do our splat on this page. Oh, also, we will we will have ten tips. Um, ten. Sorry that I'm not turning the camera. Um, shake or roll your bottle of ink. Before filling your pen. The only time that you wouldn't want to do that is if you, like, let's say, love the base color of the ink and don't want to get the shimmer in it. There are some people that, um, like Emerald of Chivore, people really like that base color but don't necessarily want the shimmer. So they'll leave the ink sitting and then they won't agitate it at all and they'll just fill from the very top. And that way they get the base color but they don't have to worry about the shimmer. Um, yeah, that's also an option for you if you want it. So um, let's go ahead. I guess I'm going to splat on this page. Um, I'm worried about messing that up though. I don't want to mess that page up. Okay, no, it's okay. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and splat on that page. One second. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do some splat. There we go. It 
seems too empty at the bottom of this page, so I'm splatting the itty bit that I can. <laughs> So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> thank you again, Roxy, for the ink sample. And um, yeah, I will uh, talk to you soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.